individual church, for heaven's sake. That's all we do is pictures. Um, on one side is the resurrection of Jesus. You see that? And then the four apostles. See there? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And Jesus is risen from the dead on this side. This is the side that's always shown to the people when they come in on Saturday nights and Sunday because we measure the day from sundown to Sunday. And so it's the resurrection on Saturday night. Now, when you come over here tomorrow, that'll be the side that's on that we're looking at. Again, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But the scene is the crucifixion. Because once, once uh, the sundown goes today, we flip this over, and it's the crucifixion that we look at for the rest of the week until we get to Saturday evening, and then it comes back around to the resurrection. And that's why we go back and forth the whole time, from crucifixion to resurrection. I'm just not, I haven't developed that yet. I was, I was not born Orthodox. I was a Protestant pastor for many years before I became Orthodox. And you see a personification of death as an old man shackled, being defeated. The doors of the tomb laid in a symbolic uh, form of a cross, but he's holding the hands of a man and a woman. You want to take a guess who the man and a woman would be? And remember, these things, icons are not art. Icons were made to be, be read because the original use of an icon, Mary and Joseph? I don't that know. is the most popular guess. Other people say uh, Mary and uh, Abraham or something. Oh, wait, let me guess again. But um, think, think wait, this is, this Moses? Is the liter this is an illiterate population 2,000 years ago that don't know how to read, have to be able to read, have to be able to read this picture and get scripture out of it. Um, Jesus through his resurrection saved all of humanity. Oh, Eve and exactly. Adam? It's teaching that they're Adam all people Eve? from Adam and Eve on are saved through his resurrection. Yeah. It's de details like that, and there's, for example, there's another detail that people miss in icon. Right here, this is called a solea. Uh, it used to extend from here and then down into this through the center aisle, and the pulpit used to be in the center of the church building it's in many centuries ago. And this is our baptismal. This is where we baptize our children. Three times, full immersion. Riding. Oh, we I have know. a funeral for Jesus. Oh, okay. It's really pretty cool. We have a cloth icon of Jesus lying in the tomb, laying here, and then we decorate this with flowers. And it's paraded Friday uh, around the church and back into the church, and we have prayers that we pray. And we hold vigil for Friday and Saturday until Easter Sunday when all the lights come up, all the brights, so everything is lit, everything is wonderful. It's just great. Pretty, pretty sir. And our dates of calculation for Easter are based on the same calendar calculation. There's detail done. inside here that many people don't even notice, even if they're Orthodox. You have to read. <laughs> you have to read the icon again. Look at the central figure. Is there anything unusual about that? Not a baby, figures. right? Mm -hmm. oh, that's the Not infant a baby? Jesus. Well, that's the infant Jesus. Okay. But it, is he wearing, uh, or is he swathed in, in baby uh, clothing? Looks like a mummy. Exactly. He's got burial tape. Mm -hmm. This is teaching early Christians when they're looking at the nativity of Jesus that when Jesus was born, he was born on the earth to die for our sins. So there's details and icons. There's some that are very little, like that one on the wall there.